The Hindenburg Airship Disaster Today on Echoes Through Time Channel, we will talk about the Hindenburg. On May 6, 1937, a giant of the skies was approaching its final destination in Lakehurst, New Jersey. It was the LZ-129 Hindenburg, a colossal airship that represented the pinnacle of German technology and the pride of the Third Reich. Measuring 245 meters in length, the Hindenburg was the largest aircraft ever built, capable of carrying up to 97 passengers and crew members across the Atlantic in just over three days, an impressive achievement for its time. That afternoon, the Hindenburg was completing its 63rd flight, having departed from Frankfurt, Germany, a few days earlier. The passengers on board were enjoying the luxurious amenities the airship offered, elegant lounges, a dining room with panoramic views, and even an aluminum piano designed specifically for the flight. But as the airship flew over the Atlantic and neared its destination, the weather began to deteriorate. Strong winds and storms delayed the landing, and Captain Max Pruss decided to wait in the air until conditions improved. Finally, around 7 p.m., the Hindenburg began its approach maneuver, releasing its mooring cables to land at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station. It was at that moment that the unthinkable happened. As the cables touched the ground, a spark, probably caused by electrostatic discharge, ignited the hydrogen that filled the enormous cells of the airship. In a matter of seconds, the Hindenburg, which had been a symbol of progress and technology, turned into a ball of fire in the sky. The flames consumed the airship in less than 40 seconds. The heat and speed of the fire were so intense that the metal melted and debris rained down on the landing field. Of the 97 people on board, 36 lost their lives in the disaster, along with one ground worker. The scenes that followed were chaotic survivors running for their lives, some engulfed in flames, while others leaped from the burning airship to avoid certain death. Images of the disaster were immortalized by photographers and film cameras present to cover the landing. But it was the live radio broadcast by Herbert Morrison that captured the anguish of the moment. His voice, breaking with emotion, exclaimed, oh, the humanity, a phrase that would become synonymous with the Hindenburg disaster. The tragedy triggered a series of investigations to determine the cause of the fire. Although theories varied, from a static spark to sabotage, the official investigation concluded that the most likely cause was an electrostatic discharge that ignited the hydrogen exacerbated by the highly flammable structure of the airship. The materials used in the Hindenburg's construction, from its outer covering treated with flammable substances to the hydrogen itself, created a fatal combination that doomed the airship the moment the spark ignited. The Hindenburg disaster marked the end of the era of airships as a means of commercial transport. What had been a symbol of luxury and modernity was reduced to an image of destruction and tragedy. But beyond the loss of life and devastation, the Hindenburg left an indelible lesson about the dangers of technology when not handled with proper caution. Today, the Hindenburg remains a symbol in the history of aviation a reminder that even the greatest innovations can be overshadowed by tragedy. Through the images and recordings that survived that fateful day, the story of the Hindenburg continues to resonate, reminding us that at the intersection of progress and danger, sometimes only an instant separates glory from disaster. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content.